But here's my top 10 of all time. No, I do not have Shaq in my top 10. No, because Shaq, yes, he's he was a dominant force. And I, growing up, I seen the dom- uh, someone of the dominant force of Shaq. But he's not, he's not in my top 10 because Shaq, he... Sha- Shaq was just a bully, man. He's just a bully, which which is good. I'll have Shaq maybe 11, 12, but Shaq's not in my top 10. I believe... And Shaq said, and Shaq said the one person that he could never guard is this man. I have number 10, Hakeem the Dream, Elijah Juan, and number 10, Moose Allure. He's he's basically the blueprint to what centers well what whatever whatever's left of the center in the NBA today do. The footwork is is there. The defense of prowess is there. Everything Hakeem did, Hakeem was great at. So I have Hakeem number ten on my list. I have Will Chamberlain number nine. Will Chamberlain's mark on the NBA was un. Unfathomable, uh, unfathom is is unfathom. My bad. I see. I, I I should take an English class d- during this quarantine. But the reason why I have wood so low is because the other guys I have basically have more than two two rings. They have more than two rings, and winning does play a factor in winning does play a factor in being one of the greatest of all time. Because if you if, you're, if your stats are this far better than everybody else, your consistency is this has been your consistency has been consistent. <laughs> Chamberlain was consistent, a consistent stat stuffer. However, when it came to the number seven guy, he could never get it done. Will Chamberlain could couldn't. He won two titles in L.A. during the twilight of his career. But he like his hundred points, man. No, no, nobody. I don't think ever, anybody's ever gonna match that in, in ever. That that's awesome. Average fifty points per game. He said. He said. He said one year. Oh, you guys don't think I can pass the ball? Ended up leading the league in assists. Which him was he? He's he, he something legends. You know the the off the court things. You know, I'm not going to talk about them today, but hey, people should know about the off-court, off-the-court uh, magic, I should say, he had. So that's why I have him at this. And at number nine, I mean, number eight, I have Larry Bird, Larry Legend, man. First of all, Larry Legend. Larry Legend, man. I believe Larry Legend. He's a dog, bro. Larry's a dog. Especially that that the, the the one story about him, <laughs> he has a story that he I I think they played the the Trailblazers. He said that he doesn't want to get his right arm his right side uh, right right arm right hand tired because because two days later they they, they played the Lakers, so he ended up playing a whole game with his left hand practically and dropped forty seven a, a triple double forty seven points. Things that he does and, and trash talking, bro. That that's part of that's part of the game. Things that he did for the uh, on the court, he kept white people interested in basketball. Let, let, let's be honest. He kept white people interested in basketball. His 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 rivalry with Magic Johnson, him and Magic Johnson. There's a greater story to that, but. With they which they aren't a part of, I'm not gonna get. I'm not. I'm not gonna get on that. If you guys want to hear that greatest story, I could do a. I could do a mini series on that. Well, not mini series, but a mini episode on that. But Larry Legend is, is, is he, he's the truth, man. Number seven, I have Bill Russell, eleven championships. Nothing needs to be said, man. He had twenty. He was averaging. It was him and Will every year with, with rebounds. But he's the ultimate winner. Like I said, 11 champions. And in his last two championships that people don't give him credit as, don't give him credit enough, he was a player coach. That hasn't happened. I don't think that will ever happen. A player coach winning two titles. That's number seven, Bill Russell. Number six 
is Mr. Fundamentals, the best, greatest power forward of all time, Tim Duncan. He didn't say it a lot. The, 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 the best thing about Tim Duncan, and I, like, I, I'm happy that I, I, I witnessed him in my childhood, is whenever he got hyped, like, well, a, a big example is what should have been the craziest shot in the Lakers uh, Spurs series in 2004. It ended up being a Derek Fisher shot, but right before the Derek Fisher shot, Tim Duncan threw up a fall away over over Shaq to to, to for, for for the Spurs to be up. And then the way this man was holding his jersey, he wasn't trying to beat his chest or anything, but he he was trying to be so calm, cool and calm, but he was so hyped. And he did that for years on in, and I I, I love that about him. He was he was just a funny guy. That and and then when, when it was time, when it, especially towards the later end of his career, when when a lot of uh, I believe youngsters thought that they they could take on Tim Duncan, he let them know, hey, I'm I'm still in this game, man. I might have this little brace on, but I'm I'm still I'm still your daddy, right? And then five titles, man, should have been six, but you know Ray Allen. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't I ain't gonna say nothing else. So now, so I, that, that was the bottom. That was the bottom five. Here's the top five for me. I got Magic Johnson number five, Kareem Skyhook, Abdul Jabba number four, LeBron three, LeBron three. The reason why I put LeBron third too, because because I I, I had him in my lower end of the top of the top ten, but LeBron James he. You know his greatness. No, I don't think anybody, unless you're you're crazy and blind, would ever deny he is great. He is one of the greatest of all time. But for me, what what put him over the edge, and I was like, damn, maybe he is top three, is the fact that he brought a bunch of bombs to the finals in 2018. You guys, you got you got to say, oh, he always brings bombs to the finals, and he always brings bombs to the finals. But no, no. 2018 was the only time he brought bones to the finals. I don't even think 20, 2007 he didn't bring no bones to the finals. The, t- the team was created to him. But 2018, what I saw him do, what I saw him do what was what was amazing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. So I have Michael Jordan number one. And then this this is what I'm confused about. This is what I'm confused about. So I have, I have LeBron three, Jordan one. If Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time, right? Why isn't the carbon? When well, I don't say carbon copy, but why? Why isn't the closest thing to that we've seen to Michael Jordan not number two? The person I'm talking about is Kobe Bean Bryant. R.I.P. Kobe. Kobe Bryant was the closest thing we've ever seen to Michael Jordan. And 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 Kobe Bryant wasn't bad. He wasn't. He wasn't. He was a winner. He wanted people to win. Towards the end, of the, this man led the Lakers to the NBA playoffs. They could have been a seven seed, six seed, but if, if he didn't tear his Achilles, willed that team this the that year to go to the playoffs. He said, "Nah, I'm gonna put you guys on my back." He had a season where uh, I believe Byron Scott was the coach. They needed a point guard. Kobe was like, hey, I'll play point. Was averaging 10 assists a game during his time and then he got hurt. This towards the end of this towards the later latter end of his of his career. That man, when that when he needed a bucket, people people feared the man in the fourth quarter. People feared the man. The miraculous game-winning shots, the everything. The Matt Barnes, he's not scared of nothing. That 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 was an antithesis of his, his his the way he played basketball. Not scared. Kobe, I could I could I could go on and on about Kobe, but what I just don't understand. Everybody says, everybody says, the closest thing we've seen to Michael Jordan is Kobe Bryant, and Kobe Bryant is third and a uh, fourth in points. I believe it was about top five in field goal uh, in, in field goal attempts. He's right there with Jordan in a lot of some all all defensive team, all defensive uh, first team. 
Why? Because he only has one MVP, but he should have had about two, three, four, maybe. Kobe Bryant is the closest thing that we've seen to Michael Jordan. Why isn't Kobe? Bryant, why don't people put Kobe Bryant in at a top two? Top two, greatest of all time. Personally, from what I've seen, like I, I I've always said this: the Michael Jordan I saw was the Washington Wizards Michael Jordan. That's the Michael Jordan I remember. I. The Michael Jordan and the Bulls Michael Jordan, I had to go back and watch that and understand his greatness. But the best player i ever seen in my life, I'm 23 years old, best player I've ever seen in my life is Kobe Bean Bryant. Best player I've ever seen in my life, Kobe Bean Bryant. Now, how do I put someone over Kobe Bean Bryant when he's the best, best player I've ever seen? And people have told me he's a carbon copy of Michael Jordan. You can't say you can't say someone's a carbon copy of Michael Jordan and then he's not number two. Right? That's Michael Jordan Jr. But yeah, I have Kobe number my top three is LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan.